What's up, bro, guys? Week 6 and 7 update! I was real busy last week trying out some new things that I haven't really done on this YouTube platform, so I didn't get a chance to make a week 6 video. So this is week 6 and 7. So I've been having a lot of fun with the green screen effects, chroma key, whatever you want to call it. Just ordered my real green screen because I've been using a blue sheet. Blue sheet's been working. So at this point in the game, we're at like 650 subscribers. What do I do next? Where do I go from here? Now I gotta start thinking about creating my brand, marketing that brand, and creating revenue outside of just ad revenue. How do I plan to do that? I plan on starting a t-shirt company, cause why not be able to make my own merch? It ain't that difficult. I'm a man of many talents. I'm sure I'll get it done. So, so far the, the little video series that I have with me in the movies, it's going pretty well. It's a fun video series that I can continue to push out and maybe someone will look forward to it cause it's just one of many things I plan on doing. We're still on the road to 1,000. The road to 1K. And, you know, I would appreciate it if we could all help brother out. Because I'd like to get to 1K so I could just, like, look at it. It looks nice. It's a requirement to become monetized. But by the time you get to 1K, realistically, you're far from the mark of the 4,000 watched hours. Not minutes. Because, you know, I done did the math. I think I'm at, like, 200 hours. That's not... It's no. So we got a long way to go. Movies, I'm keeping them short and sweet. So I mean, maybe you'll watch one, you'll watch another one, you'll watch another one. Over time, things will increase in length. The t-shirt side of that, I will um, start creating my own merch and I figure I might as well market myself as creating other people's merch as well. If you need some merch produced. It's not that hard, really, it's not. I haven't done any official shout outs yet because um, I just don't have the time yet to do that. Unofficially, I want to shout out all of the YouTubers that are constantly engaging with me, helping drive my my numbers as I help drive their numbers by, you know, exchanging and conversation back and forth on our various videos. Because let's be real here, the goal, success, I think my small time goal is uh, I want to go to VidCon. You can go as a as a as an individual. I mean, this the, my first VidCon, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going as an individual. I would like to be invited. I mean, that's not it's not too much to ask. You know, you put in the hard work, you produce the videos, you edit. Sometimes I think I have more fun editing than actually being on camera, but then at the same time, there's no one else to do the show. You could get somebody, but that's not fun. I thought about being editor for hire, but then I was like, I wouldn't even know what to charge. What kind of videos? How does the style? Do you trust me with the video? And then I just uh, edit it to the way that I think it should be edited, and then I run it by you, and you tell me if you like it? I mean, I guess that's a possibility. I mean, let me know if you want me to edit. So, green screen on the way, gonna get the t-shirt materials next week, gonna start off with something light, not gonna go crazy, can't go crazy. I like to think I'm getting pretty good at this. If you want me to do a tutorial on how to do some chroma key green screen effects, then maybe I'll do that too if you guys wanna see it. But only if you guys wanna see it, cause I'm not wasting my time out here in the street. You ever just get comfortable on camera? And you just gotta reposition yourself, and you just gotta start taking in the whole experience that you're in a room by yourself talking to a camera lens but you're not because you're interacting with the world and you're having a fabulous time doing it so you need to just get comfortable and readjust and start changing your mindset about how you feel about putting out these videos start loving the process love the recording love the editing love the the posting love the engagement love the struggle as much as i'd like to give views i'm pretty adamant about trying to stay away from being sucked into just doing trendy videos that's just not then I, I'm never making content that I truly want to make I'm making things that are gonna get views because nothing started off just getting views it started off as nothing and then eventually it got some traction and then other people liked it and they replicated it and you know the process I'm trying to be a trendsetter here I don't know how well of a good job I'm doing but I think I'm doing an okay job we had a quota here at the all-star nerd channel where we were trying to get 100 subscribers a week, every week. And this is the first week I think I'm not gonna hit quota. I'm somewhere around 650 tomorrow, Sunday. I don't know if I'm gonna release this on Sunday or not, but I'm recording this on Saturday. I have to get better at what I do, better at my craft, the more comfortable. Again. Just comfort, comfort, comfort. The more comfortable you are, the more people wanna watch you. They just feel like this guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Uh, other than that, um, I got some skits coming up. I got some comedy things coming up. I'm thinking about doing some sh some short movies, maybe horror. Like a bunch of... I just want to go around the world. Whatever happened in just like cinematography? Like, I mean, I know everybody, like all the channels, there's channels that specialize in everything. But whatever happened to people just creating things? Like, 
You know, just because one, maybe one day I want to make a horror movie. Maybe one day I want to make a love story. What happened to the options? Like, did they just go somewhere? Did YouTube change on us? What happened to YouTube? What happened to YouTube? Nothing happened to YouTube. We happened. There's an algorithm, it works, and the content that gets played is the content that's watched and desired. And what we watch and desire remains the same for a while when we continue to all follow this trend and mukbang it up. So the mukbang trend is going to be around for a little while until people stop mukbanging, or, which is probably not going to happen until the views stop. So the views won't stop until something else catches everybody's eye. And I'm just trying to maybe... Start the next trend. Like I think my strategy is gonna be produce a nice amount of content in one field, change, produce content in another field, change, produce content in another field, and then you know I don't know how far that's gonna go, and then we'll come back full circle and we'll produce some more content again in that same like field. We'll pick our lane. We'll pick our lane as we go, and then even when we pick our lane, we're gonna get out of the lane. We don't color in the lines here. Coloring in the lines is for lanes. How are you gonna tell me where my picture ends? My picture is over here too. It's, it is, okay? It's time for us all to rise up. I'm probably out of frame. Freshman class of YouTube. I'm trying to make honor roll. Perfect attendance. Most consistently persistent. There's channels that I've met, that I've encountered that we're going back and forth with on the verge of, of surpassing my numbers. Like, I mean, I had a quota of 100 a week. They might not even have set a quota for themselves. But they're about to pass my mark. I have to try to make content that's going to be profitable for me in the future. So there's certain things I'm not in the business of really trying to do. And reaction videos, I think I stay away from those from music because it's hard to, to do that properly without getting a copyright strike. I've already gotten two copyright claims on two of my videos, me and the movies. But it's okay because I'm sure I could uh, alter those in the future and try to still maybe work something out if I just added a little bit off of it. If they're a big hit, then it doesn't really matter to me because it's just gonna draw in channel traffic. As long as you're producing content and then you're getting channel traffic, you should, it'll all balance itself out. It just will. A big part of me doing this entire thing is uh, to give a realistic depiction of a journey from nothing to monetization and then hopefully fame. And then I don't know what year I'm gonna be watching this. Maybe I'll be on some talk show and they'll be like, remember this clip? And I'll be like, I do. In the freshman class of YouTube as it is, us YouTubers have this kind of concept where we believe that ads equals success. And to some degree, I agree. So when you happen to stumble upon a fresh YouTuber and you run into one of their videos and you can see that they have a nice amount of subscribers, but the quality of this video, it's not something quite right with it. it. Must be one of their earlier videos. And then you see their lack of confidence their lack of equipment, their lack of knowledge, their lack of know-how, their lack of presentation, showmanship. And then you go to their latest video and you're like, and you see how much they've improved. Most times that improvement is incredible. Everything we've mentioned has increased, it's gotten better. It's just been tested and proven over time. I'd like to think that you can see that in me now. You're looking at my older videos. They're not that old, but you're looking at my videos from week one, two, three. It ain't like four, five, six. I can guarantee you it won't be like seven, eight, nine. Because all we're doing is getting our confidence up and trying to bring this YouTube game to the forefront. I'm going back to old YouTube. I'm going back to old YouTube. I'm going back to a place and a time when we just put out stuff that we liked and we thought was great and people liked it because they liked us. Not this new stuff where we just all going around copying each other. This is not Vine. Vine did that. This is not TikTok. TikTok does that. This is YouTube, the creator platform paradise. I would like to relive some of that luster by bringing back the renaissance of YouTube where things were just creative and you just put them out and you weren't afraid to color outside the lines because there were no lines and there were no rules and we weren't doing this for just money even though money is great. Even though money is great. I don't want to just create content just purely for the source of making money so I'm a slave. That's just a job. Okay? That's just a job. They've turned YouTube into a job and I like it's a job. But they've turned YouTube into a money-making thing where you're just like a robot to trends because trends get views and views create ad revenue and da -da 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 -da. So even though I said all of that, that being said, like I still like like ads and I would like some money and I'm not opposed to somebody sponsoring me because it's not like I don't know how to like make a sponsorship video. Like I can't market something. I mean, come on. Some things are just great and they just make sense. Like this Sprite. It's so bubbly and fresh, and it rolls right off the tongue. I can't believe it's not cherry, because it is. I'm sure glad I bought this. 
Anyways, we got comedy, we got this, we got that, we're just making stuff, we got a series. T-shirt business, we're going to talk about creating merch and selling merch and how that's going to affect you in terms of the whole process of it. If you're just wondering how we're going to, you're going to get to see me do it because I'm doing it. So since you made it this far through the video, I'm just going to say like, comment, subscribe, share, because that's still a thing. You can ring that bell. I need that too. But share, as I mean, sharing means more to me than ringing that bell. Because you share the video once, you, you help me out a bunch. If you haven't already, check out me in the movies right over here in this playlist. If you want to see more of what's going on here, you can click on this playlist over here on how to start a YouTube so you can see me start from week one and work my way up to this, which is week six and seven because I missed last week. So it's one video. Don't worry, next week will be just one week video. Okay? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. Road to 1K. Let's do it. Peace.